Morning, everybody. Welcome to Cowboy Leather Products. I'm Scott. Hope everybody had a good week. We've week around here been pretty good. We've uh, turned out a lot of products over the week. My wife has been busy selling uh, dog, uh, I call them dog bibs. Dog bandanas, I guess, is the right word for it. So, yeah, she made up, uh, I think, about 25 or 30 in different uh, fabric. She's coming up on uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas, so she's made some uh, ones that got little dogs on them that uh, under a Christmas tree or with a wreath in its mouth or whatever. Uh, I'd get them and show them to you, but she's got them stashed away. So, that's her deal. That's what she's been doing. And she's also made uh, hair scrunchies and some uh, scars for women. And I've been making wallets and uh, stuff like that. I got a new pattern in. Uh, it's kind of a, I don't know if you call it a little, put your chain, not really change in it, but you can put a credit card and some cash in it and throw it in your pocket and uh, run to the store or whatever. It's, we'll call it unisex. You know, guys, you can throw that in your pocket and go to town throw in your jogging shorts or whatever if you don't want to grab your your wallet <clears throat> again you just put your driver's license credit cards a little bit of cash in it and you can take off and go so that's what we're going to do this morning i got it uh yesterday and oh, excuse me it was too late in the day to make a video so i figured i'd hit it first thing this morning and see how it turns out. So, if we make mistakes, oh well. That's the, uh, the way things go around here. So, let me get some leather. I got, got the leather laying here. I'm going to tip you down. And you can follow along with what we're doing. Again, this is the first time for me making this. Some of y'all may have probably made one like this. If you have, skip forward. If not, uh, maybe watch it, see how I do it. And, you know, if you see anything, pointers, whatever, put it down to comment. I won't get mad. That's what we're here for. Each one of us helps each other. So, I say, let me tip you down, and we'll see if we can make a mess or make a masterpiece. All right, it's just a two-part pattern. There's the main body. It's got the stitch holes in it already if you want to hand stitch it. It's marked for, I don't know if you can see it. There's a hole there for your snap. Hole down there for your snap. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's the outline of this up here. And there's your inside piece. So, let's lay it out. See what we can do. The leather I'm using today is uh, bridal. It's in, I believe this is uh, three to four ounce. Uh, chrome tan. So, like I said, give it a whirl. Get it squared up here. I'm going to trace it out. Yeah, I probably could just cut it. And move on. Okay. 
Put a nice hole in there. I hope everything is uh, good or where you're from. We're having a little bit of a chilly cold spell, if you will. It got down into low 40, middle, middle to low 40s last night. Side. Put that aside. Let's cut this piece off of here. Set that aside. Now, put my ruler. I got some other cool tools I'll show you here in a little bit. But I will say one thing. I've, as much as I've fussed over the years in my other videos saying that, you know, you're evil if you buy your tools and whatnot off of, uh, Amazon or whatever. Well, I broke down and bought some tools off it. Of, uh, that Team U or Team U or whatever the heck they call it. In fact, that's where this pattern came from. You know, I, I myself, I, I'm, you know, I'm all, all for buying stuff American, but you know what? We don't make this stuff anymore. And as much as we don't want to admit, we're becoming uh limited on yeah you got i believe it's herman oak some of these other small or i shouldn't say small but these other canneries are making still making weather but we had uh cannery here in tennessee it's about uh, i think it's about 80 miles from where i'm at and they made a lot of the uh, lacing for, is it Spalding? Or whoever makes uh, baseball gloves. Yep, they understand over the summer or here recently, they've gone out of business or sold off to another company. Because it's just, you know, not profitable anymore, I guess. And, you know, you got EPAs on your butt. 
and most of the stuff that they used was uh, Chrome Town. So that was just another negative. But I don't know if it's true or not, but I'll say a lot of uh, the leather we're using now is coming out of uh, uh, Venezuela. And out of, uh, uh, I can't remember right offhand, but there are still some tanneries here in the United States. Big tanneries, little tanneries. But I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and we we're talking. He was telling me he's getting some uh, buffalo hides. Uh, not hair on, but uh, just hide tanned up smoke. And he said he told me what they're what he was paying for them. Excuse me, I, he's not getting sides. He's getting a whole hide. Uh, hair off so I don't know where he's getting them he wouldn't tell me not that it makes any difference he said he's giving me fits doesn't want to cut up right. But anyways, and he was telling me that uh, he knows that uh, supplier up in uh, Kentucky and they're not doing much hunting up in Kentucky for deer because they're worried about that uh, what they call it, chronic waste disease. So, she's kind of, the woman's kind of sweating it. She's got some height left over from last year. But as long as, you know, this year, she's not getting very many fresh hides in. So, there may be a shortage of deer hide. She sends them off to get them uh, tanned and whatnot so there's probably around here I don't know if she ships out of uh, Kentucky or Tennessee or whatever or where she does actually ship too but the hides that she has probably gonna bring a little bit more money than they did last year because you know they're not they're not getting them So we're hopefully things will pick up though. You know, hopefully the price of stuff goes down. Okay. Get that out of the way. Set this out of the way. Now, uh, let's come over here. Take my hedger. But anyways, as I was saying, I went to that TMU or whatever. I just shortened up, call it EMU. But anyways, 
I looked at some of their tools that they have to offer. And basically, they're the same tools you can pick up on uh, uh, Amazon. And I use quite a bit of uh, inch and a half. Oh, um, uh, yeah. Velcro on one of my uh, money pouches. And I, get, I decided I was going to you know, get it through there because I can't find it at Joanne regularly. And I like to buy in uh, rolls and not just 10 feet, 20 feet, something like that at a time. You know, I like to buy in bulk. Because I go through it so fast. Put a little... This is not... Uh, no. Uh, what I'm using here is the same, almost... Like uh, token all. It's varnishing gum clear. Put out by, was it Angus? Angus or whatever. So far, I've had pretty good luck with it. In it, this is uh, veg tan. It slicks up pretty good. It's not like trying to s slick up uh, uh, chrome tan. Just putting it on. Almost with your finger rubbing it smooths it out. You can I can feel it. My buddy out in uh, Texas sent me that varnishing. He said he ran across a couple cases of it. That's what he uses. And he sent me some and told, told me to try it out. Let's assemble it. Threads everywhere.
and we'll go ahead and make my marks here. Okay, when that happens. for a little bit. Catch glue before it dries, it comes right off. Let that sit here. Let me slide this aside here. Alright. Let's see here. I got these uh, belt end uh, Patterns. Now these are kind. Of, these are different. These got three holes. This is your buckle end. It's got three holes. Fold it. Put three uh, rivets in there, and that's your setup for you know putting the uh, sizing holes in, and you cut an end. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five of them. This one's 38 millimeter, 30 millimeter, 35, 25, and 40. So, I thought they looked kind of cool. Like I say, they, they weren't that expensive. I think if I spent three, four dollars for them, I was lucky. I feel it'd be handy that way. I can change up when I put rivets in belts. Now, something else I got. There's some more over here. 
these are little templates if you want to put uh, like corners on a piece of leather let me see here all right let's just say this was a body of a uh, wallet or whatever the case may be you cut lay this on a piece of leather cut this out when you stitch around stitch down through there that gives you some bling on your wallet let's see try and find a piece or if you want to put a decorative edge on your leather you just take and scribe it tool this up here whatever I would say the you know the possibilities are pretty much endless it's up to you what you want to do so there's just kind of a plainer one but I what you're supposed to be done is you lay you lay them out trace it cut it out and then stitch it onto your wallets or whatever you want to kind of decorate out did I need them no but I thought they were cute and I might need them. I might use them someday. But again, they were cheap. They might be cheaply made, but they're cheaply priced. And what else should I get? Oh, I got a uh, small drive punches. Now, what I'm going to do with these is I've tried it out. I've seen other people do it, and I'm kind of sort of copying what they've done. Put them in a, put you can put smaller ones in a Dremel drill, or put them in a uh, bigger cordless drill. All right, we'll just put one in while we're waiting for the glue to dry. find some scrap here or as they say you want to drive them drive them but what I thought was kind of cool and I just thought of it while I was sitting here is if you live in an apartment or someplace where you don't want to make a lot of noise when you're doing your tooling and your leather work, you put your holes in. We're using a cordless drill. So, but they're actually drive punches. But I'm all for taking a tool that's designed to do one thing and see what I can do to, you know, make it do something else. All right, let's see if we can put this thing together. Take your stitch groover.
put stitch, put stitch line in there. Address that in a minute. I'm going to put you on hold and we're going to go sew it up. All right, back. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Go ahead. I went ahead and stitched it up. Let's burnish the edges. I've already sanded them. Tidy up. Now, let's see here. We put the Still turns up. I want to get get my different driver. Yeah. Yes, I do.
Much better, much better. There we go. Now you could, if you wanted to, instead of putting one of these in, depends on the thickness of your leather, you could put two of them in there. So you'd have three compartments but you know it's up to you pretty simple I mean I probably could have sat down and, and drew that out but I got a bunch of other stuff and I want to fill up the cart so I got it but like I say that's you know, something simple. One compartment. Two compartment. Uh, I had something here a minute ago, a minute ago. Where to go, where to go, where to go. Stick a business card in there. Flap closes. Or you can put your business cards, credit cards. Slips down in there. You could also notch that. You know, this piece here, you could put a little finger notch in there. But it wasn't on the pattern, so I'm not going to do it. All right. That's the way it is. Simple, easy project. You know, another one of them that, if you don't know what to make, make the simple, easy ones. And always, always remember, you know, busy is not consistent. You know, be consistent with what you're doing. Yeah, you're busy, busy being busy. And let's see. you know, in this in this line of crafting work, whatever you want to call it, when you can't think of nothing to make, there's always something out there different. Now, you know, somebody sees this, they go, "Well, you know, I can put three of them in there. I can put." Put a gusset, leave this open, put a gusset down the side of here, make this fatter. You know, it's up to you. I'm just, I'm just showing you an idea. What you do with this idea to elaborate on it is on you. I don't care. I'll sell it this way, I'll modify it in different ways. And put it out there in front of the public and see how they sell. If they don't sell, I'll modify it and try it again. You know, you don't know unless you try. And just sitting there going, oh, well, what do I make? You know, watch YouTube videos. You're watching me. You ought to be able to see something that somebody's making and guesstimate how, how big it is or what they're using for leather. Most people tell you what they're using for leather down in the, in the comments. You know, what the color, what the thread, and you know, your different dimensions. But just in case you want to know.
This pattern is 10 inches from here to there is 10 inches. It's four, four and a quarter wide. This piece and you fold it. Uh, fold it back on itself. Uh, four inches. Take this end, fold it up four inches from here to here. Basically, the height of that is what you're going to fold it. You don't have to put that, that kind of edge on it. You can square it off. You can make it round. Do whatever you want. There, now you've got your measurements. And you've seen how I put one together. All told, yeah, 15 minutes. So, just an idea. Hope, hope this was interesting. If it wasn't, hope that was amusing. Just come on back. See what else we can do. We might, we might make a mess. We might make a masterpiece. Who knows? So I'm going to end this video and get out of here. I shouldn't get out of here. I got to work, do something today. Weekend's coming. And it's warm in here. So, and my wife will be here pretty soon. So, I got to do something. If not, she won't feed me today. So, if, if anything I said or did in this video is helpful, if I was humorous, amusing, whatever, I appreciate it. Thumbs up. It doesn't cost you a dime. It only takes that finger right there, hit the thumbs up. That makes the people in the uh, YouTube world know that people are watching. You know, I had to get any kind of, uh, I'm not going to say awards, I'm not here for awards. <laughs> For, you know, any kind of recognition, which will put this video higher on the scale the food chain, you have to have uh, 4,000 watch hours. Well, I was climbing the ladder, and all of a sudden, I started going backwards. I had like 700 hours, you know, to go before I got to that 4,000. But in YouTube world, I don't know what they did. They started subtracting. So, whatever you can do to help me get higher on the food chain, it would be greatly appreciated. So, I've dragged this on long enough. I'm Cowboy. I'm Scott. You've been watching uh, Cowboy Leather Products. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. We'll see you next week. Bye now.